Hello, ladies and gentlemen out there tonight. We got a special, real special interview here with us of Harold Dean Rivers. How he started in crime and ended up singing as well in the penitentiary. I'm sure all you ladies and gentlemen know my co host, Paul Dean Allen. Hello, uh, folks. And tonight, it, we is going to have a special program for all you people out there in Hollywood, all the land. We got a special person here, like I told you, Harold Dean Rivers from CRAB Crab Creek, Virginia, and he's from our radio station. And I'm sure all people around here is a salute to them, how this singer started around here in this great world. Folks, we won't delay you no longer. We go to Harold Dean Rivers. We pulled up to the wreck of the pumps about drunk we could be. I told the man at the station, 50 cents worth, please. Then I turned to my partner with his trusty pellet gun. Said, boys, this is a hold up. Keep pumping and don't run. Now I wish I was somewhere other than here. Down in some honky tonk lord sipping on a beer. Yeah, I wish I was somewhere other than here. Cause that great field station hold up. In good years. We got thirty dollars and a can of STP, big old jar of cashew nuts and a Japanese TV. Feeling we had all oh, the biggest highs of our career. We're wanted men, we'll strike again, but first let's have a beer. Now I wish I was somewhere other than here. Down in some honky tonk lord, sipping on a beer. Yeah, I wish I was somewhere other than here. Cause that big village station rolled up, cost me ten good years. We were sitting in the crystal, about as drunk as we could be. In walked the deputy sheriff, toting their TV. Well, they're up to sign the cup this morning, took us off to jail. No picture on the poster, no reward and no bail. Now I wish I was somewhere other than here. Down in some honky-tonk lord, sipping on a beer. Yeah, I wish I was somewhere other than here. Cause that great feeling station rolled up. Hello? I like to find out about some furniture. Folks, this is Earl, 1214 North Central. Folks, I used to think money was the most important thing in the world, but it's not. It might be to you. Folks, I'll give a thousand dollar bill to anyone that can sell me and still make a profit in the money world. Folks, this remember Earl, 1214 North and Center, for a deal of a lifetime. You people out there that ain't got much money, I'll help you any way I can. For a deal of a lifetime, see Earl, 1214 North and Center. <laughs> Folks, it was at the penitentiary where Harold Dean Rivers did come up to meet the parole board. All right, Mr. Rivers, you think you're ready to get out? Yeah, this time I'm ready to get out, Doc. What are you going to do when you get out, Mr. Rivers? I'm going to buy me a swing shot, come back here and break every goddamn window in this penitentiary. Back to your cell, Harold Dean Rivers. Folks, it was six months later when Harold Dean Rivers did come up to meet the parole board again. All right, Mr. Rivers, you think you're ready to get out this time? Yeah, this time I'm really ready to get out, Doc. Yeah. All right, Mr. Rivers, you've been here a long time. What are you going to do when you get out? I'm going to get me a job. That sounds all right. Yes, sir. Then what are you going to do, Mr. Rivers? I'm going to buy me an apartment. That sounds good. Mr. Rivers, you've been here a long time. Then what are you going to do? I'm going to meet me a beautiful girl. <laughs> Mr. Rivers, uh, you've been here a long time. That sounds normal. Then what are your plans? I'm going to take that beautiful girl up in my apartment. I'm going to pull this girl over her head. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds all right. Harold, you've been here a long time. Then what are you going to do? I'm going to steal her daughter, make a swing shot out of it, come back here and break every goddamn window in this penitentiary. Folks, this does conclude the interview of Harold Dean Rivers. One year later, he did make a bush parole. Folks, we out here in this big free world on the sidewalks at Lee County, CRAB Crab Creek, Virginia, to do the commercial. Sir, you look like an honest space. What's your name? Uh, my name's uh, uh, LCD, Robin Hood. Well, sir, I'd like to interview about the rubber, the condom. 
What the hell is that? A rubber, sir. What's a rubber? I don't know what a rubber is. I live you in use, county. You use it. Use it for what? Ah, hey, hell, sure, dumbass. <laughs> Here comes another honest face. What's your name? Paul Dean Allen. Sir, you look like an honest person. What do you think is of, of the condom? What's a condom? The damn rubber. <laughs> damn rubber. What's them little things between the girl's legs? Probably, I don't know, her knees. <laughs> <laughs> Folks, we're back at the radio station. This is your friendly Kermit Baltic, and here is my co-host, Paul Dean Allen here. Folks, from CRAB Crab Creek, Virginia, here is Harold Dean Rivers to do another song. Take it away, Harold. <laughs> Just outside these prison bars, the hanging tree is waiting. Sunrise, I'll meet darkness, and death will say hello. Darling, cut your lips to mine and tell me that you love me. Promise me again before you go. Will you visit me on Sunday? Will you bring me? Your footsteps up there Promise me the time won't separate me from your memory You'll remember me until the days of silver hair Not for you, I know I'd lose my mind before the morning So hold me close and tell me Folks, there you have it, another fine selection by Harold Dean Rivers. And this is Kermit Bostick at your old friendly radio station, CRAB, Crab Creek, Virginia. Folks, we're going to go out on the main street and do a commercial here. Folks, we out here on the good streets of Lee County in CRAB, Crab Creek, Virginia. After we just done a good commercial while ago. You, folks, here comes a real fine looking young gentleman. I'm sure he will tell us something about this commercial. Folks, here, gentlemen, come right over here to the phone microphone here. This is Lee County, Virginia. You're an outstanding looking young man. What do you think of the condom? That condom, hell, I don't know. What is condom? You know, the damn thing. Get them damn cats out here. Okay, them things bad out here in the city, ain't they? Yeah, the damn cat population is getting bad. It's back to the condom, sir. What do you think of the condom? I mean, I don't know. What do you think? You know, the thing a woman wants a man to use. Views. Now, turn her legs. Oh, man, now you have around here. We just probably don't think about it. Oh, bullshit. <laughs> the condom, sir. What uh, do you think of the condom? I wish the damn people keep the cats off the damn street. Okay, sir. I, you can't answer about the condom. I'm sure. What do you think the rectum as a whole? I uh, shit crack me like that. <laughs> 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 I wish you damn people out there on the radio, man, keep your damn cats out of the street. I swear it's a jungle around here. <laughs> Folks, we're back in here to the good radio station. Let's go to my co-host. Cheer is his name. Oh, uh, And your friendly announcer, Kermit Lee Bostick. Folks, we're going to do another selection here of Harold Rivers. Fine young gentleman. I guess. He <laughs> still is. I took that bush parole. <laughs> Thank you. 
Station, your friendly Kermit Bostick and my co-host. There you have it, folks. The time is ten eight minutes after nine. Folks, we're going to continue with the weather here. The weather bulletin is across the streets, and in the town sure ain't over here. <laughs> Thank God, folks. I want to do a commercial. You're about to save coal save. My wife went out and bought some coal save, and. She eat it. <laughs> Cold save you. She put it on your throat and face and stuff. <laughs> down near killed her. I advise you not eat any of that and stuff. Oh, sir, you have it. Now we're going to go back to the interview of Haraldine Rivers. Haraldine Rivers was a trouble boy when he grew up. <laughs> he couldn't stay out bombing yards. <laughs> and that's the life of Harold Rivers. Folks, we're going to go back to him with another fine selection here. Me and my who? Yeah, hello. <laughs> <laughs> All right, our folks, you have it. Now we're going to get down to the nitty gritty here. Mm. Hold still, Jersey. <clears throat> hey, my co-host over on the pig. <laughs> well, you got to save yourself, sir. All right. <laughs> folks, Harold Dean Rivers. I'm sure he wants to give us another fine selection here. <laughs> Folks, Harold Dean Rivers. He's a gentleman, I guess. <laughs> Another fine selection by him. Folks, we're running out of time here tonight, and uh, we'd like to do another commercial here, right, real quick. Well, we're out in the Stretto Street. Get them damn cats out here! Where's my co-host at? They got him down over here. What do you got to say for yourself? Hell, hell. Folks, there you have it at the radio station. This is Kermit Lee Bostick, and here's my co-host. Yeah, boy. And here is Haraldine Rivers. Hi, Mom. And here is, Hi, and here is P. Joe over here. Hello, Mom. This is your big boy, Bubba. I was on TV. Folks, we're going to have a story here about three of us all sitting around the talking. Asking questions, how one or grow up, what all they did. Mr. Paul Allen, yeah. where did you go to school at? Pennington. Pennington High School? Yeah, I'm going to I'll interview you too. Harold Rivers, I'd like to have you over here by the microphone. I'm sure the good people out in the radio land want to hear your voice. What do you got to say for yourself? <clears throat> what was it like when you was growing up, Mr. Rivers? Rough. How come you was all the time in barn yards? <laughs> Turn it down and go loose. Go over here by the microphone. <laughs> well, Paul Dean, what you got to say for yourself, sir? Eh, not much, man. Eh? Well, what about you? Get your stuff in there, Paul. Eh, me, I grew up on a little old farm. 
An old pig fucker from way back. <laughs> Cat fucker, dog fucker, any old way to fucker. Come here, Harold. Come here, Harold. Get in here. The good people out in the radio land wants to hear your voice. The interview's on you tonight anyway. Get over here by the microphone. Turn that down, cat. I wish them damn cats was in hell glory. <laughs> Harold, what do you think is uh, the news of the day? I'm sure, good buddy. Mr. Paul Allen, what do you think of the trouble in the world today? With the crime rates and stuff. Crime rates is bad, man. It's just oh, way they oh. around here, man. They put you jail. Harold, I told you, turn that damn gold loose. <laughs> Get out of here. Damn stupid pussy cat. <laughs> well, back to Mr. Pauline. Pauline, what was it like when you was growing up? What did you do for fun and laughs? Tell the good people out in the radio, man, what you did. Well, I done three hours. Three hours? Yeah. Railroad? <laughs> <laughs> What's three hours? <laughs> Raise rat and kill. <laughs> Tell us about the three yards, sir. Uh, hey, I hate to I made it up. <laughs> well, when I, when I get off from a radio station, I'll tell you what my world's like. On Friday night, payday night, hits the 3C night. Cop for daddy, cash for mommy, and candy for the baby. <laughs> <laughs> well, here's Mr. Rivers. Come over to the microphone, Mr. Rivers. Tell us something about yourself, how you lived up there in them woods all along. With all them hoodows and cows and pigs and chickens and all them cows. Tell about the big breakaway, Earl. Tell about the big breakaway. Me and Bostick, we was out in the woods hunting, and I come up on this big old wall. And there was a big old sign there, and it said, The Sunnybrook Nudist Colony. And there's a little bitty hole in the wall, and I run down there and peeped in, and Bostick said, Earl, Earl, what's in there, men or women? And I said, I can't tell, they ain't got no clothes on it. Uh, how long did you stay there, huh? Two whole months. Well, what was it like? Well, the first three days was the hardest. No, no, no. I mean, how was it, Harold? Well, it's about six inches longer than it is right now. Harold. I was at this newest colony wedding. I come within an inch of being the best man. Back to your old friendly radio station here. Mr. Rivers has developed some new songs here. He's... I hope he will give to the fine ladies and gentlemen out here in Radio Land the names of the songs, a few of them, a couple of them, the titles to them. What's some of them, are, Mr. Rivers? Well, I've got this new song that just come out. I wrote about my girlfriend. It's titled, She Kissed Me in the Hallway and I Shot Across the Street. <laughs> Why, I hear you have another one about your grandmother coming out here pretty soon. Oh, yeah, What's it like? yeah, I've got this brand new one coming out that I wrote about my grandmother. It's titled, she may be too old to cut the mustard, but she can still lick the jar. There you have it, folks, ladies and gentlemen. Going back to my co-host over here. What you doing over here, co-host? What's it like over there sitting in the corner all alone? I ain't sitting nowhere listening, man. Well, how do you like your job here at the radio station? Yeah. You, do you make... Have to like it, man. You're here. Yeah, it's a good <laughs> job. Yeah, it is. Pays pretty good. <laughs> yeah. How would you like to be the co-regular uh, star of the show tonight? No, man. You like the old co-host job, huh, sir? Well, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to let my co-host say goodbye for a few minutes. We're going to go back and sit and talk a while, all three of us. Say goodbye, our co-host. This is uh, Kermit Lee Bostick. Say it again, you get $50. And here is Mr. Haldane Rivers. Take it away, Mr. Bostick. One of them old fellas from way back. Here we're going to our regular mountain program. Interview some more and show you people enjoy some good laughs here. I <laughs> hope we got a lot in store for you on the radio land today. And the time is 10 o'clock. The weather bulletin is rain across the Mideast tonight. A few thunder showers. You better get your chickens in. There's a runaway from the convict camp over here. And they got him a barnyard salt. <laughs> <laughs> get your wheelbars up. Because he may be win one. And if you ask him what's he doing in the wheelbar, he may ask you to push it up a little closer <laughs> so he can get to the cow better. There you have it, folks, in the radio, radio land. And this is Kermit Bostick with the news. Grab a hold of yourself, fellas. There's a real important, important announcement. Come on, they hurt. These fellas that broke out of prison, the Lee County Jail, is a wearing boots, shorts, and a long sleeve print shirt. 
And he's got a headband around his hair and with a sign on his back, heading to Alabama with barnyard salt on his mind. These fellers is very dangerous. I don't know why, but a man wearing boots and shorts is bound to be up to something. All right, folks, we'll turn it back over to Rivers with another song. Here he is. Take it away, Harold. Uh, Harold. Busted flat in Baton Rouge, waiting for a train. Even nearly faded as my jeans. Bobby from the diesel down, just before it rained. Took us all the way to New Orleans. I took my harpoon out of my dirty red bandana and was blowing sand while Bobby sang the blues. With those windshield wipers slapping time and Bobby clapping hands, we finally sang up every song that driver knew. Freedom's just a Share the secrets of my soul Standing right beside me, Lord To everything I've done Every night she kept me from the cold Then somewhere near Selena's Lord I let her slip away Looking for the home There you have it, folks. Harold Rivers. This is that guitar play. Boy, sure can jerk it to you. Harold Muck Rivers. Take it away there, Harold. Show them how good you can play. Talk to boy everything you know. I don't want to go home. I don't want to go home. Why'd you skate first? My poor back is breaking, both my knees was aching. The red bugs kept on biting, but I didn't have time to scratch. I don't want to go home. I don't want to go home. Nobody wants to go home. Well, Bobby, I hear you. Going back to the hills in Tennessee But I'll still make the cards And I'll still make the bars Lots of crazy women To keep me company Well, you see, I work in this automobile factory in Detroit City In the shop absorber division you ever look at one, inside one of them shop absorbers? 
Well, they've got this little old round washer right in the top of them, see? My job is to cram this little round washer into the top of every one of them shop absorbers that comes down that long conveyor belt. Heck, I've only been there six years, and I'm already the number one washer trimmer in the whole shock absorber division. That's right. I don't want to go home. I don't want to go home. Nobody wants to go home. I'm going to have to send Leroy home if he don't get that darn thing to you. Come on, Leroy. Keep trying, son. Don't give up for a minute. This is the radio station, Hermit Bostic here. That's Rivers in the background our singing. Rivers is a fine singer. Well, we'll let him be singing this song here. He's singing in the background in a few minutes, right after this. Oh, sure's Rivers with that song you were singing in the background now. Take you down out of the closet. I really don't Let's walk through this house we live in, through the room we always loved in, and let's love each other while the feeling's good. While the feeling's good, let's keep it going. Ding, 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 ding. Fowlers, we want to break in for a news of bulletin here. On the hour again, we got the locations of the two prisoners that escaped. The ones that had on the boots, the shorts, and the flare print shirt with a headband on his head, got a sign on his back, headed to Alabama. These two boys was last seen in the Orton section up above Wildcat. Okay, right now, they're arms and burly things. Like I said, they have to be to have on shorts. People, if you see these and yard, they are also one from barnyard salt now. They done made it to that barn. People, if you see these people in orts and sections, please call at once to the police station here in Jonesville, Virginia, to the shirt party harbor. This is Kermit Bostick to keep you in touch of any further notices. I'm sorry for the interruption of the song.
Here, there's Harrow Rivers. Another fine selection. Today's weather report brought to you by the Condom Company. Rain showers to the east of the cell block today. Showers reported on the north side of the jail, traveling down through the hallway. 60% change of rain today, 70% tonight. This is your radio station, KHP Lee County Jail. This weather report is coming to you by the Condom Company. Well, back here at the radio station, here's my partner. Yeah, Paul Allen. This is Kermit Bostic at KHP Radio Station. We're here to do another fine number about Mr. Rivers. I'm sure you're ready to take it away, Mr. Rivers. KHP, the county jail. All you boys out here, here's a little 
story you need to hear to use on your girls when they try some stuff on you in the cars. Number one, she says, I can really turn you on, the boy. The only thing in here needs turned on is the lights. Number two, she says, oh, you've got some sand on your mouth. Let me get it out of you. The boy says, leave it there so nobody slips. <laughs> Number three, she says, want to go to bed? The boy says, no thanks, I just got up. Had a drive-in movie. Would you like to get in the back seat? The boy says, no, I'd rather sit up here with you. Turn loose my leg. You don't know me that way. <laughs> back here at the old friendly radio station, this is your host, Kermit Lee Bostick, with my partner, Paul Allen Dean. Well, here's another fine selection by Harold Rivers. Take it away, Harold. Mm -hmm. There you have it, people. Out there on the radio land, there's another fine selection. Here's my co-host. Yeah, here I am. Still over here, folks. That's right, Paul Allen. Folks, I hope you enjoyed the show today. This and all programs we have here today is brought to you by the Condon and Rebel Company. Middle England, New York. This is at the KHP radio station, Johnson, Virginia. We'll go here, out on the streets, and do a fine commercial here. Out in the radio land. Hey, fella, come on, come over here by the mic. Come here by the microphone, sir. Yeah, well, you want that? Yeah, I mean, what's your worry, name? Man. What's your name? Why you want to know that? Why you want to know name? Bro? What's your yeah, name, Bubble Face? No, what's your name, Bubble Face? Yeah, that be I, man. I don't talk strange to most people. What do you think of the Tampox Tampion? What's that stuff, man? The thing the woman puts between her legs. I'm from Lee County, man. I don't know. The damn thing she puts between her legs to keep her blood from pouring out on her panties. Oh, hell, that's a hand. <laughs> no! The little thing oh, between man. her legs. Oh, knees? No! <laughs> Where'd you raise that? Lee County, man. That's oh, bullshit. Get <laughs> <laughs> Almost them damn cats that stay off the damn streets, I'm telling you. Back to the old radio station inside here, KHP. We're going to make a full center hearing all this fine music by Harold Rivers. Later on in the program, we're going to have to change our program station name on account due to the sufferance consequences of the round the jail. Folks, I'm going to sure have a fine fellow here today to have an interview with y'all, Mr. Harold Rivers. Say howdy to the people out there on Radio howdy. Land, Harold. Howdy. Oh, wait till I get through. Now, go ahead and say it, Howdy. Howdy. A little louder. Howdy. Here's my co-host. You want to say howdy to him, partner? Hello, Mama. What's your name? I don't know, but I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> and this is Kermit Bostic. Rivers, tell me, how did you begin your singing career? Where did it start at? Hell, I don't know. Did it start in the penitentiary? No. Well, where did it start at? Jail? How old was you when you first sung your first song? Tell me how old you were. Well, he was five years old, folks. <laughs> first sing, song he sung was Popeye the Sailor Man. <laughs> this is, folks, grab a hold of yourself. Here, here's a real important elephant coming on the air. Two people escaped from the Lee County Jail. Had on work boots. Pair of shorts cut off. Had a pair of shorts cut off, work boots, long print shirt, headband around his hair with a sign on his back. Heading to Alabama. <laughs>
Folks, here is Harold Rivers again to sing a wildwood weed. Here's another fine selection, The Cocaine Song, The Cocaine Song by Harold Dean Rivers. Take it away here, Harold. Pour it to them. Early one morning while making the rounds, I took a shot of cocaine and I shot my woman down. Went right home and I went to bed. I stuck that loving shorty for the my head. I took a shot of cocaine and away I run. Made a good run, but I run too slow. They overtook me down in Warren's Mexico. Hitting the hot joints, taking the pill. Then walked the sheriff from a Jericho Hill. He said, no, no, your name is not Jack Brown. You're the dirty hack that shot your woman down. Uh, you have it, folks. Interruption here. We got another report on the prisoners that escaped. I think they've been seen over here in the wildcat nodding. False call. False call. False call. Folks, this is your daily radio station with Kermit Bellstick. And we're running pretty short here on time and everything. And these false calls coming in messing these songs up. I wish these people would get straightened out. Don't y'all?
right, sure, we're going to go back out on the street, sure. With this is Kermit Boston. We're going to go back out on the street, sure, and do another fine commercial. Ones we've been having ain't, ain't getting nowhere on these damn condom commercials. There comes a gentleman. Hey, come over here by the microphone, sir. What's your name, Bubble Face? Bubble Face, man. My name ain't Bubble Face. <laughs> well, tell the people your name, sir. I can't tell it on, on radio, man. It's bad. Oh, man, come on, Chip. I just can't. I can't tell it on radio, man. It's too bad. Ain't you the one I ran into the other day? Probably in jail. What tell about the condom? The thing the woman wants a man to wear. You know, the rubber. <laughs> What's it like? You ever, you ever had a woman, you ever used rubber on a woman, sir? No, uh, uh, we ride them bareback, man. What you ride them bareback for? Cause. Cause why? Cause ain't no other way to do it, yeah. Lord, Edward, here comes another gentleman. Come over here by the microphone, sir. What's your name? Engelbert Humperdinck. What do you think of the condom? Condom hell. I can't get no good. <laughs> Damn, Damn cats, I'm telling you. I wish them damn things was in the hell glory. What do you think of that condom, sir? That's not much, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'll ask this cat come here, what's a condom? All right, cat, you all the time hanging around me. What's a condom? Well, you use a condom? Well, why? Well, well why not? <laughs> I didn't mean to push you. <laughs> here comes a dog. Hey, dog, come here. More of a microphone. <laughs> what do you think of a condom? <laughs> well, is it easy on your rut? <laughs> <laughs> Rough hell, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> I didn't mean to kick you. For River sure to do another number. Right here, right real quick. My co host over here in the corner. Hey, stand up here to the window now. Up to the window now. He's watching it snow. Of course it ain't snowing, but he thinks it is. <laughs> back to my back to the singer here again. Here's Rivers to do another number. And this is your old friendly Kermit Bostick. I don't want to have to quit jacking off so much. It's killing me. <laughs> it's jacking off them. It's killing me. <laughs> Bring it on home to Mama here. Sing it there, Harold. Yeah, Harold. She's painted a pure lips and old girl her pinny hat. He's got her a big neck. <laughs> Ruby, are you contemplating going out somewhere? Oh. <laughs> the shadows on the wall tell me the sun. 
sun is going down. another fine selection by Harold Rivers. We are getting on a ball here. We're going to get another one here. We've got about room for one more. We'll get another one here. We'll holler over here at my co-host and see what he's doing. What are you doing there, old co-host? Hey, buddy, what do you think about that wreck out there today? Yeah, it was a bad wreck, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. boy. The old girl went down there and got a good drive with the last of the wreck before she got out of the I hollered and told her, I said, don't take it uh, so hard. The right brothers couldn't get it right the first time either. <laughs> Here, River, sing us another year, old buddy. Pick us one on our closing tune first. Pick us something. Don't matter. Don't have to be choosy. Whatever you want to pick. Pick a damn ear, can't be. <laughs> Come on, Rivers, it's your good one. That way we don't push buttons. There you go, people. Another time with the Hell Rivers. Let's share it. Yeah. Woo Let's go, little Pour it to them. selection by him. This is your old friendly Kermit Bostick and my co-host over here. Hang his head out on the window. Yeah, boy. Guy. What's your name, fella? Hello. Ain't you that fella out there where I do them commercials on the street? Yeah, surprise, surprise, surprise. He finally got a job here as a co-host in the station. Can you believe that? <laughs> there right, you have it, folks. We'll turn back to you in a while. we got to do some commercials here in a few minutes. We out your we out here in these friendly streets in Lee County. Sir, you look like a fine, outstanding young man. Yes. Tell me, what's a condom, man? Condom. <laughs> Tell me that condom. You use a condom? No, uh-uh, no, 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 no. What did you use a condom? I, I put my house together and see me. With cement? <laughs> a condom, sir? What's a condom? I, I don't know, man. Ah, hell. <laughs> Where's them damn dogs? Get, get back to the station. Come on, co-host, get in the station. <laughs> <laughs> We're back to the station here, people. And right now, in a few minutes, we'll come back to Rivers with another fine selection. Well, did y'all ever hear that uh, poem there about old Piss Pop Pete and Sally Brown? No. Yeah, here you go. I'll tell it to you if y'all want to hear it. Y'all want to hear it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. okay, here it goes. 
It was Peace Pop Pete and Sally Brown. There was this girl named Sally Brown, claimed old man to lay her down. And over the hill come Peace Pop Pete, 36 inches swinging me. He laid her fast in the grass, rammed his dick right up her ass. But Sally was smart and led a fart and blew his balls 12 feet apart. Now over the hill comes Piss Pop Pete with 36 inches of shredded meat. Shit. <laughs> 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 no, shredded meat. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, here's Harold Rivers, king of the jailhouse rock. Hey, all. Uh. I don't know the hour. I heard these sirens way across town. Looked out the door, my house burned down. Running there, down the sidewalk. Neighbors see us, what they can see. Running there, down the sidewalk. Hey, lady, don't look at me. To the river, take me a swim. I hung my bridges up on the limb. Some girls came by, you know what they done? They took my clothes and away they run. Run there, down the creek bank. Them girls playing trick on me. Run there, down the creek bank. Gotta get my clothes back, don't you see? My girlfriend called, she said, hey, come around. Called my husband, he's out of town. But after a while, he walked in. I said, excuse me, I was gone again. Running back through the bushes, dodging bullets. From tree to tree, running there through the bushes, running there, what they call me. Running there through the bushes, Ooh, coming after me. Running there through the bushes, running there, what they call me. There you have it, folks, there you have it. Let's go over here to my co-host for another fine selection by who? Oh, Harold Rivers. Boy, ain't he something around here? Yeah. Still he keeps yeah. the place rock and roll yeah. all the time, though. Yeah, he, he's another Harold Rivers. That's fine fella. That song that reminded me of that night I was at my girlfriend, man. She yeah. got my clothes in home with. Yeah. <laughs> he's faster than me when I'm checking us. <laughs> <laughs> Change hands that Miss Lick. <laughs> yeah, change hands with that Miss Lick. Come over here, Harold, say something into it. You never have talked to him. Come here, come here, come here, sir. <laughs> hey, my co-host is gone crazy. He's up on the bars. <laughs> yeah, let me in. I guess it'll be about time, man. See, oh boy, we got a little red wagon out one morning, you know, he was strolling down the street there, you know, he, yeah. Seen this other little girl there on the street walking down there. He pulled up the side of there, you know. He says, get in. She got in, you know. He started paddling on down the street there a little bit. He looked at her and said, put out or get out. You know, that's what his big brother always said. She said, I'll get out. So he, she, he stopped and she got out, you know. And uh, he paddled on down the street there a little bit. And... Uh, he pulled up on this other little girl here, you know, and she jumped in. He's rolling down the street there, and he said, put out or get out. She said, hell, said, I'll put out. He said, no, you get out. I don't know what to do. <laughs> <laughs> he brought it into his wrist. <laughs> yeah. Hey, we got about two minutes, I guess, on this tape here. We'll finish it out saying goodbye. May all of you ride a bicycle. <laughs> Backwards. <laughs> Backwards. Over a mountain. <laughs> well, these jokes was by Kermit Bostick and Paul Dean Allen, the one up there on the top when we first began by You Get Off My Back. 
And it's, that was by Harold Rivers, that one there. He couldn't think of no more to tell. He was occupying the commode right now with something in his hands. <laughs> yeah. He's got hard thoughts right now about something.